Hi, Doug Noll here, and thanks for joining me on this video. I want to give you a quick tutorial on an elegant technique that will allow you to stop any fighter argument, de-escalate any person, calm any anger, and actually prevent fights and arguments from beginning in the first place. The skill is called affect labeling, and I didn't invent affect labeling, but I did discover it in 2005 and since 2005 have refined it so that I can teach it to other people quickly and easily. The concept is really simple, and it involves a little bit of neuroscience. When we're in conflict or we're angry or emotional or upset, the emotional centers of our brain are activated. And when they become too activated, they overwhelm a part of our brain called the prefrontal cortex. And when that happens, we can't think anymore. I'm sure you've had this experience, and certainly when you've been in a fighter argument, you've seen other people kind of go crazy. They get triggered and reactive, and they can't think. They just basically go to programming that they learned in early childhood as a response to whatever it is that got them mad. So the secret to calming people down and stopping the fights and arguments forever is to inhibit the emotional centers of the brain and reactivate the prefrontal cortex. And it turns out that the skill of affect labeling does exactly that. In a groundbreaking study in 2007, neuroscientist Matthew Lieberman and his colleagues showed that when you affect label somebody, which I'm going to show you how to do in just a moment, the emotional centers of the brain diminished in activity, and one part of the brain, the right ventral lateral prefrontal cortex, was activated. So in essence, as we engage in affect labeling, we calm people down and at the same time re-engage the thinking part of their brain so they can start processing emotions again. And it turns out that later studies have shown that the right ventral lateral prefrontal cortex is the part of the brain that contains the abstractions that we call emotions. Now there's a lot to know about emotions and affect and the physiology and actually the evolutionary biology of all of this. And I'll reserve that for more advanced courses and coaching. You don't need to know all the science right now to be able to do the practice, but just take it on faith if you don't mind that this practice is based on hard neuroscience, not on pop psychology. And I have deployed this practice in places as diverse as maximum security prisons and at the Congressional Budget Office where I've trained senior analysts how to de-escalate members of Congress and their staff. So the skill itself is explained in three steps. Step number one, ignore the words. You want to ignore what the angry person is saying because if you listen to the anger, you're likely to get triggered yourself and become defensive or reactive. Make those words white noise so you don't even hear what they're saying. And when you do that, two things happen. One, you are much less likely to get triggered yourself. And two, you open up your brain to take the next two steps. Step number two is read the emotions. Now you might be thinking, how do I do that? I don't even know hardly what my own emotions are. Well, our brains are hardwired to read emotions. And this is the evolutionary biology part, which I won't bother you with right now. Suffice it to say that our brains have evolved over millions of years to be able to accurately and efficiently read the emotions of other humans. All you have to do is just empty your mind, be quiet for a moment, and let your unconscious brain do the processing. In a few seconds, emotional words will pop into your consciousness. And that's how you're reading the emotions. And that gets you to the third step, which is to reflect the emotions back with a you statement. Not an I statement and no questions. Simply state the emotions that come up in your consciousness back to the person who's upset. So you would say something like, you are really angry. You're frustrated. You feel completely disrespected. You feel ignored and not heard, and you feel unappreciated and unsupported. And you're worried and concerned and even a little nervous. And you're kind of disgusted at the way this is all going down. And you feel a little embarrassed. And you're sad and upset 
and stressed and disconnected. And it makes it you kind of depressed. And at the base of it all, you feel completely abandoned, rejected, and betrayed. You feel all alone and completely worthless. Now, take a moment and think about how that landed with you. What did you feel as I said those words to you? And you should notice that you relaxed. And you said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though right now you're not upset, you were feeling the relaxation response occurring from the affect labeling affecting the emotional centers of your brain. That's how powerful it is. So the three steps are ignore the words, read the emotions, reflect the emotions with a you statement. Don't ask questions. Don't use an I statement. Active listening does not work. It has never worked. It never will work. Forget it. If you took active listening classes, forget everything you ever learned because it does not work. Likewise, there are other techniques like nonviolent communication. They do not work. The only thing that has been proven in neuroscience to work is affect labeling as I've described it. Here's an example of affect labeling. This is a demonstration between myself and my wife. It, it's a role play, but you'll see exactly what affect labeling looks like. So, Alea, what's going on? Well, I was actually in a meeting today with a couple people, but there were two people in particular that were so incredibly disrespectful. You were really disrespected. To totally. It was, it was so, I mean, beyond rude. And that kind of pisses you off. I mean, it, it be, I just feel so, so frustrated. So I'm so frustrated, frustrated that. Frustrated and not heard and disrespected. And that they're not even aware of how disrespectful they are. And I'm their senior. I'm the one that's actually overseeing this and getting them to do what they need to be doing. And you're just kind of astounded that these people are... I'm blown away. Blown away by the yeah. fact that these people are so disrespectful that they don't listen to you, they talk over you, you don't feel heard, and it's you're anxious about it. I'm angry. And you're really angry. I'm really angry about it. It just you're makes angry. me want to like, ugh, not do, not do this job. Get out. So, I mean, you're so angry about how it. Yeah. I mean, if the money wasn't as good as it is, then... It wouldn't be worth it, but it's not even worth I mean, like I toss and turn, I have my stomach, it clenches, I have heartburn. Like so you have a lot of upset and stress over this, a lot of anxiety. Oh, totally, totally. Just these two people, like the, every single meeting, they do this, they pull this thing. And these people are just driving you nuts. It's unbelievable. And your, anx your anxiety level is the roof. Yeah. And you don't know what to do with yourself. Yeah, yeah. You're pretty confused. Yeah. And no matter what you try to do, it doesn't seem to work. No, nothing, nothing works. It, it, whatever I do, it makes it worse. And Nothing. You're feeling really deeply sabotaged and betrayed by these people. Totally. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Listening. I've taught affect labeling to thousands of people and organizations. And every single time I teach this skill, I am amazed at the transformations that occur. Here's a sampling of some of the things that people say about this skill. My name is Wilton Carraway Jr. I am the senior minister of the Whitney Avenue Church of Christ, and I consider myself a peacemaker. My biggest takeaway from what I learned from Doug in this program is connection and relationship. That just by listening to people, you are connecting to the heart. And when you connect to the heart, you establish that relationship, and that relationship brings healing. Doug was not bringing something that was a reworking of someone else's work. It just seemed really original. And it, it, it wasn't just some ideas that Doug came up with. Uh, the fact of, of what I saw with his work with the prisons, just thought, okay, I need to talk to this guy because this is um, seems rather revolutionary. My name is Peggy Cooper, and I have been for 12 years now, I have been working with people who find themselves in high conflict situations. And I myself have always been a, an extreme avoider of high conflict situations. I have found that I am now fearless 
in facing people who might confront me. Um, I've found myself very much more able to deal with just the things that come up um, in my life. Now that I have this skill set, I have better better relationships, better communication. I feel more calm, confident, and I think that that then ripples into everything that I do. So in many ways, it's really helped every aspect of my life because now if I'm upset, if I'm triggered, I can validate an affect label myself. If I'm with friends, family, colleagues, and something happens, I can validate them. So it's really improved, I would say, every area of my life. And the number of kids that I see on a daily basis uh, in school and can bring them down to calm and to more peace and to more problem solving and then be able to return to their original classrooms and be more productive. It's, it's life-changing for them too. In the face of any sort of strife, it's, we all feel really insecure and awkward and are most of us and uncomfortable and really unsafe. Learning this skill, it's so empowering because you can be more aware of how you're feeling. Then you get to hold a safe space for someone else, which then also really protects you. It really is a game changer for making people feel safe. Me, I think it shook Lindsay, but I got to say that in this moment of survival, if we didn't have your tools and we didn't utilize affect labeling, there would have been a murder. She'd have killed me or I'd have killed her. Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned because you'll be receiving emails inviting you into de-escalation dojos, courses, workshops, community groups. You're you're part of an online community dedicated to bringing peace and connection back into this chaotic world of ours. Stay tuned, and I'll look forward to talking with you soon.